Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video and welcome back to another 12 days of Christmas. I can't believe how fast this is going. Like we are now on the week to Christmas. Like what, is there like three days left? Four days? Depending on when I upload this video. It's crazy how fast it's going. So what I thought we would do today is a Christmas day makeup look. I know that I did one a couple of days ago which was like a smoky grey silver eye. This one is going to be a gold glitter eye in a classic red lip and I am so excited to show you this makeup. This is actually what I'm going to wear on Christmas day because I love it so much. So yeah, I'm very excited to show you how to achieve it. Let's do it. So I've already primed my eyes and of course I've used my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion because that is what I use all the time. I'm addicted to this stuff. What I'm going to do now, and trust me on this one, this look is going to be one of the simplest Christmassy looks you'll ever do. I promise you that. So we're going to use the Morphe 350 palette and the only reason that I'm really using this is just to really like set my eyeshadow and do a crease colour. It's not going to be the main eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this little white creamy colour here and that's going to be used to set the primer potion. You don't actually need to set this primer potion but I just like to do it so that it's not that sticky on the eyes. Because I sometimes feel that once you put like primer down it leaves your eyes kind of sticky because that's how it kind of grips onto your eyeshadow. But then it makes it harder to blend the shadows on top if you have a sticky base. So that's why I put that shade down if anybody wonders. And please excuse the redness on my face. Popped a little spot there which I don't recommend doing. But that's why that's so red. And I'm just out of the bath so that's why my face is red. Good times. Now I'm going to use this little fudgy cream shade here as a crease colour. I'm so sorry if you can hear banging or building in the background. Um, next door or just the house up the street is getting some sort of work done. So there's banging, I'm really sorry. Hopefully my Christmas music in the background is covering it but you know, you can never be too sure. So I want to bring orange into the crease, like a nice pop of orange. So I'm going to use this one here. I think this bottom one's too orange for the look that I'm going for but yeah, just this little one here. And I'm just taking that on the same brush as well. I'm not changing out my brushes. I hardly ever change out my brushes during like crease work because I just feel like I don't need to do it. Um, all the colours are going to blend into one another anyway. So yeah, I just keep the same brush. And I'm just working that orange into the crease. And then I'm just wiping off any excess that I've got on the brush. And I'm just going to take that through the top just to make sure that everything is really well blended in. Okay, next I'm taking my favourite eyeshadow of all time, which is the Urban Decay Half Baked. This is so, so pretty. I've got this in naked palettes, I've got it in singles, I just love it so much. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous gold. And we're going to apply this with a little um, spongy applicator. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I love to use these to pack on colour. So I'm just going to add this all over the mobile eyelid and this is going to give it such a gorgeous, 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 <laughs> gorgeous holiday kind of look because when I think of Christmas I think of like silvers and golds, obviously red but you know like gold and silver, all those kind of like metallic colours really make me think of Christmas so I really wanted to do a gold eye. I'm then just going to take my fluffy brush again, nothing on it, and just blend out the gold with the orange crease shade. Okay, I'm taking my trusty collection eyeliner. This is the Extreme 24 Hour Filter Liner, and I think the shade is just black. Absolutely love this liner, it is amazing. If you haven't tried it, you honestly need to, it's just so so good. So I'm just doing my usual winged liner. So now that you've done your wings, I'm going to take some Glam Crystals. I used this in my previous makeup tutorial that I did like the Get Ready With Me. These are just absolutely amazing. 
these are the Dazzling Gel Liners from Collection and this is in the colour Funk 3. Amazing, honestly. I can't rate this highly enough. It's the perfect time to get your glitter out for Christmas because, well, it's Christmas, isn't it? And everybody loves a little bit of glitter on Christmas. The reason that I've done my eyeliner first is because this um, glitter is quite thick and because I have used this before and I just feel like it's easier to apply the eyeliner first because then you don't have the problem of having to go over the thick um, glitter with eyeliner. I just feel like sometimes it goes a little bit bumpy if you have to go over it because obviously, it, I mean it is real glitter that's in these crystals so it's a little bit difficult. But this glitter just completely transforms the look. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's like so Christmassy. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with mascara. This is the Kiko Milano Unforgettable Mascara. It's in the waterproof version and it's just amazing for adding a little bit of volume and length to your lashes. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to the face and we'll come back to the eyes later. Before foundation, I'm going to do a little bit of colour correcting. This is the e.l.f. Corrective Concealer. And I'm going to use the green shade here just to cover up this awful red spot. And some of the redness on my cheeks and my nose. I'm just going to actually use this little brush that comes with it. I've not used this product on my face yet. I got it when I went to New York. Um, but I haven't used it, so I'm excited to see how it works. too bad it's covered the redness quite well hopefully the whiteiness of it will go away when I put my foundation on for foundation I'm using the Urban Decay all nighter foundation of course because I'm addicted to it and I'm using it in the shade 3 I do three quarters of a pump on my finger and it just goes like honestly it just spreads everywhere all over your face you don't really need more than that I'd say one pump max because it's really full coverage and with full coverage foundations sometimes it can look a little bit cakey if you put a lot on so yeah three quarters of a pump seems to work really well for me I'm just using my Real Technique sponge to blend it all out Okay, I'm now taking my e.l.f. HD powder, I think that's what it's called, HD powder. It's just the white one, I'll show you inside. Looks like this inside, and I'm just going to tap out a little bit on the tray and use this to set my under eyes. I haven't added any concealer or anything like that, but I do like to just set this under my eyes because the foundation is really good. You don't need concealer with this. Well, I don't anyway. Um, I don't tend to use it. But I just like to set it anyway, just in case it creases because it is quite thick, the foundation. So I'm just applying that around my chin and on my forehead because can, um, any foundation settles into like my wrinkles and my forehead under my eyes and then just round my nose. Because that's where I tend to get oily. Just in and that I'm going to finish off the eyes and I'm going to run this kind of orangey red shade on a pencil brush underneath my lower lash line. <laughs> I look like a zombie just now. Um, and then I'm going to do the orange that we put on this one here. That's what we put in our crease. And I'm going to run that on top. And then I'm going to do a tiny little bit of this dark brown here, just on the outer half 
of the lower lash line and that's just going to give it a little bit of darkness. Just going in with a little bit of mascara now and this is going to be the eyes complete. Also, I thought I should just let you know, since I was using the Morphe 350 palette, if you absolutely love that palette, you need to go down and click that subscribe button right now, because in the new year, I'm going to be doing a dupe of the Morphe 350 palette. I'm super excited about it. It was just something that I discovered. I don't know if it's been discovered already, but yeah, I'm really excited for that video. So I know that it's hard to get in the UK even probably in America because it's so well loved but yes please go and subscribe give the video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know you're really excited for that video because I am so excited to film it so I know the eyes are looking a little bit scary just now because my rest of the face is like so I look so yellow in the camera I don't know why it does that but the foundation isn't yellow in real life it looks a lot better once we put our blusher and a highlighter and everything on so we're going to use the Kevin Aquan contour palette I'm pretty sure this was exclusive to Sephora. This is what it looks like. If you can get this palette in Sephora, please go and get it. I'm pretty sure it's like a holiday set, but you honestly need it. It's the best contour kit I've ever used, ever. It comes with a blusher, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a contour shade. I'm going to use the bronzer, first of all, on a Real Techniques buffing brush, just to bronze up the face. And I'm now going to use the Sculpting Powder, this is in the shade Medium, on a Real Techniques um, Sculpting Brush, is it? No, Contour Brush, and just contour with the shade. This is just such a nice kind of grey-ish brown and I just think that it gives the perfect shadow to the face. I'm then going to go in with my highlighter and I'm using the Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Oh, I love this highlighter, honestly. Why did I just sing like angels? Well, it is Christmas. This is a stunning highlighter. It is kind of goldy so it goes quite well with, with the eyes. And it just picks up beautifully in pictures which is obviously, you're going to be taking a lot of pictures aren't you on Christmas. So I just think that it's a perfect fit for this makeup look. For blusher, I'm going to use this one by Starlux. It's the Rose Gold Skin Perfecting Blush. And yeah, it's just in like this kind of pinky gold colour. Because it's rose gold, it'll give obviously a little hint of gold as well, which will just tie in with the eyes and with the highlighter. I'm just using my Makeup Revolution Rose Gold Brush to apply it. Oh, coincidence. I'm now going to fill my eyebrows in using the HD Brows Kit and the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Mascara. I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, brows are done and I'm feeling a lot more human now. And the last thing to do before the look is complete is to add some lipstick. So of course, what would a Christmas tutorial be without a nice red lip? So I am going to use the Mirabella Red Velvet Lip Pencil. This is what it looks like. And I think that this is just, oh sorry, I said Red Velvet. I meant to say that it's in the shade red and it's called a Velvet Lip Pencil. And oh, this just smells so nice. It's like it just smells sweet. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's vanilla sweet. But it's just amazing and it lasts for ages as well. This is honestly by far my favourite red lipstick. Um, it's just the most perfect red. I just, I just love it. It's so Christmassy. And yeah, this is the finished look.
I really hope that you enjoyed the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you enjoyed 12 Days of Christmas let me know, comment down below. I love to chat back with you guys and interact with you. Um, make sure you come and follow me on like my Snapchat, my Twitter, Instagram. All the links are going to be down below in the description but they're all just Kirsten Beauty. I'm going to be of course Snapchatting on Christmas Day and taking you like around my Christmas with me and I'll be like posting loads of pics on Instagram and things as well so yeah make sure to come and head over and say hi on that. I think that's me done chatting so I will leave you to get off with your the rest of your day now. Um, make sure to come back tomorrow for another 12 Days of Christmas video and yeah if you want you can even subscribe because then you'll be notified when I post it. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow guys. Bye!